Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we'll be doing a guide on all of the grenades in the game and how they currently work in Escape from Tarkov. Before we start, there will be four kinds of grenades that will be excluded from this list. The RDG 2B smoke grenade, the Zarya flash grenade, the 40mm grenades fired from the FN GL40, and grenades fired from the AGS 30mm mounted grenade launcher. While yes, these are all grenades in their own rights, they don't fit well in this comparison, and they will be discussed in their own videos at a later point. For now, let's lay the groundwork for how grenades work in Escape from Tarkov. There are four statistics that come with grenades, explosion delay, explosion radius, fragment count, and maximum damage per fragment. The delay is how much time will pass after the grenade is thrown that it will explode, and the radius is the range at which the grenade will effectively cause damage. With the closer you are to the grenade, the more damage you will take. Additionally, the fragment count and maximum fragment damage coincide with the damage output of each of the pieces of shrapnel. While I will go into specifics of the grenade's fragment damage, don't get lost in the numbers. The easiest way to put it is that the closer the PMC is to the location of the grenade's explosion, the more likely you are to come out with a kill. Each grenade will have different statistics for these four numbers, so let's start out with the RGD-5. This hand grenade is unlocked at level 3 Prapper, which can be unlocked at level 26, and costs 11,822 rubles. Overall, there isn't anything too special about the grenade, but it is a jack of all trades. It has an explosion delay of 3.5 seconds, an explosion radius of 3 to 7 meters, a total of 70 fragments, and a maximum damage of 100 per fragment. This grenade is described as an offensive grenade, and to that I can agree. It in itself doesn't have any huge outliers in terms of raw numbers, but this grenade is often the bread and butter of most PMCs who want to just head out into a raid and chug grenades at everyone they see. Next up, we have the F1 hand grenade. This grenade is very similar to the RGD-5 with the same exact fuse time at 3.5 seconds and explosion radius rated at 3 to 7 meters. It is even unlocked at the same level 3 prapper as the RGD-5 and sells for 9,156 rubles. It can also be bartered for at level 1 prapper for 1 ES lamp. Where it differs from the RGD-5 is having 90 fragments instead of 70, but a maximum damage of 80 HP per shrapnel versus 100. The next grenade that we'll be looking at is the black sheep of grenades, the M67 hand grenade. This grenade is accessible for purchase as early as level 14, which is loyalty level 2 peacekeeper, but requires the completion of the quest Spa Tour Part 2 before you can purchase it. It costs $79, or about 9,875 rubles here, but it can also be bartered for sooner at level 1 peacekeeper for two Zippo lighters. While it does have an explosion radius of 3 to 8 meters with 75 fragments and a maximum damage of 110 per shrapnel, its most notable statistic is a fuse time of 5 seconds. At this point, I'll expose the lead in saying fuse time is the most important statistic in relation to grenades. Why? Because if you go into raid and give your opponent this much time to run from a grenade, you might as well have never brought them in the first place. That is not to say that the M67 is useless in combat, only that it should be used within scenarios that it excels in. While this grenade is less than viable to throw at someone who you are taking the offensive on, it works great as a defensive option. Say you're in a situation where you're trapped in a room with a layout such as this. Bear in mind, I'm not going for artistic value here just to show its capabilities. The red X signifies an enemy PMC that you are trying to escape from. The most effective way to do so is to use the rear exit, but he's got an eye from it from his angle. By using a grenade with a longer fuse time, you are providing an extra few seconds to run out the door before the PMC can safely peek again. Most PMCs are used to the 3.5 second fuse time, and I myself am often thrown off when I hear the throwing of a grenade and it takes longer to explode than I expected. Another tactic grenades with longer fuse times are good for is what I refer to as grenade rushing. While I wouldn't advise this to people who are still learning the ropes of Tarkov, if you have decent aim and some guts, it can prove effective. Let's say a PMC has locked himself inside of Kiba, a see-through bulletproof cage. If he is close to the door and you have an M67 grenade, you can throw the grenade in and while he is running away from it, follow the grenade in and shoot the PMC. The M67 will grant ample time for you to kill the PMC and escape its radius before explosion, 
but I'd only recommend this if you're quick on your feet. While I know I spent ample time giving explanations of viable uses for the M67, keep in mind I still consider it to be outclassed by any other grenade in 9 out of 10 scenarios. Next up, we have the VOG-17 Kadapka grenade. This grenade can only be obtained using a level 1 trade with Mechanic for one UZRGM fuse. This grenade has a 3 second explosion delay, an explosion radius of 2 to 6 meters, and a fragment count of 100 with a maximum damage by shrapnel being 120. In comparison to the RGD-5 and F1, you are in essence trading less effective range for a faster explosion and slightly more damage. Which leaves us with our final grenade, the VOG-25 Kadapka grenade. This grenade cannot be purchased through traders by any means, but it can be crafted in Workbench Level 1 for 5 40mm VOG-25 rounds and 5 UZRGM grenades. This will craft 8 VOG-25s in 1 hour and 40 minutes. In terms of statistics, the VOG-25 has the shortest explosion delay with 2 seconds, which is incredibly useful to prevent PMCs from escaping if you have them cornered. It has an explosion radius of 2 to 7 meters, with a fragment count of only 35 and a maximum damage per shrapnel being 65, both being the lowest of each stat among grenades. This begs the question, why do you mostly see VOG-25s being used by PMCs and why are they typically the most expensive grenade if they statistically have the lowest damage output? To which, once again, it all comes down to the fuse time. A PMC only has 35 HP in their head, meaning that the theoretical 8000 damage of grenades like the M67 doesn't mean anything if the PMC can just walk away from the explosion. But if you catch a PMC off guard or catch him prone, a well-placed VOG-25 won't allow him time to escape. At this point, we have a decently structured table to look at, and to compare all of the grenades side by side. Now, for completely arbitrary reasons, I'm going to rank the grenades 1 to 5 based upon overall effectiveness. Bear in mind this is subjective and has no real bearing on effectiveness based upon your own personal playstyle. Coming dead last, we have the M67 hand grenade. While it's able to cultivate some specific uses for the M67, they are all hugely circumstantial and can be performed with any other grenade as well, just maybe not as effectively. Best to sell the M67s on the flea market or use them to craft green gunpowder in the hideout. Next up, we have the F1. We're already leagues above the M67 at this point, and you shouldn't feel as if using the F1s put you at any sort of a disadvantage. This grenade is practically identical to the RGD-5, with practically the same theoretical damage, but I'm going to give the edge to the RGD, which is slightly lighter than the F1. And third, you guessed it, the RGD-5. If you need an explanation as to why, just rewind the video. Runner-up goes to the VOG-17. A part of me really wanted to put this as the best grenade, but I've relented to a more fitting second place. This is a fantastic grenade, with a shorter fuse time than the previously mentioned, more damage, and it's got everything that you'd want out of a grenade. And finally, the best grenade is the VOG-25. Although it has considerably less shrapnel, it carries the same effective distance as the VOG-17, and with the 2 second fuse, this grenade is deadly if you can throw them accurately. And with that, we've summed up the comparison between all of the grenades currently in the game. If you enjoyed the content, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching, and good luck in your raids.